Yes, well, as you can see, I've made a start. The polls came at 9 o'clock this morning. And it wasn't my new silences, it was one of these. I sent a doorbell motorcycles in Surrey for a new gasket. The old one, it's made of woven wire. And it's like asbestos. Mm. I realised I left it on. So I just got it off. And the new one's in. And they're on there. So this is a main job, so I thought, well, tomorrow when the silences arrive, I can just slip them on easy. Actually, the, old, the whole job isn't technically difficult. The main concern was <coughs> that bolt didn't seem to move, and I thought, well, it's the weight of the wheel. Because you must weigh about £50, £60 solid lump. So I took the brake caliper off, which needs a good clean. <sighs> I'll put a head cap all these new pads on even though there's about three mil left. He kindly sent me some new pads from his old opponent. But yeah once the wheel weight was off this just dropped down quite easily. And hopefully that gap should be enough. <laughs> Can't drop it down much more. Well, not at all. I'm not going to mess with it yet. First job is I've got two pans on the boil. So I'm going to put soapy water and get all this crap off. Filthy. Smell oh, lovely them roses. <coughs> paper roses, paper roses. Yes, I thought I'd uh, film a little bit more. As you can see, the Y shape is on. We are never waiting the silences. Bit of a faff because I had to drop out uh, the top bolt of the suspension ring. I wanted to check it out all together, but of it's fastened to the piggyback reservoir. Reservoir. The reason I wanted to check it out, I've got some red touch up paint, but I can do it from here, just where it's gone a bit grotty. Just put some red paint on. Uh, yeah, I checked my manual last night, and it's just a bolt behind the side panel. Bit of a squeeze between that relay and a wiring cluster, but I can see the top of the allen bolt. Fasten it back up. <coughs> not too tight, it's on a nylock, not going to undo again. Actually, that's too stiff and it has to be a little bit loose. Twerk. Let's give you a suspension movement. It's either too loose or too tight. Marvellous. I might go to the car. Oh, it won't work on alloy, will it? Paint some of that stuff on that turns to an oxide so you can paint over it. I think it only works on rusty steel, not corroded alloy. I think you just slot on the uh, slot on and then one bolt secures it. Same there. Uh, so tomorrow it should be finished and I'll go for a ride out. It should be a nice day tomorrow as well. Copper grease. Silver hook. 
and to see these copper greens. London. Well, DPL have just been, so let's do an unboxing. Will it be a shock? Or are they in nice condition? Very well packed. to surface rust. Oh, you can even read the original Honda stamp. <laughs> Sanke. They are loose, aren't they? Good. Look at the other one. Yeah, the one's uh, in the yard. Mm, it's a dent there. Works out a lot easier than I thought. It just comes off like that once you drill the the button head off. So I thought I'd film the next one. The hammer keeps slipping on. <coughs> the button stays on there. way of getting it off. Slides back. Right. Mm. 
Oh, you can still read my writing on here. I'm totally shot. Aren't I? No point putting them on eBay. Ah, that's it. Twerk. Well, it's all back together. All quite basic stuff, no need to film it, but the uh, only trouble I had was locating this rear body panel. Put it on and there was a gap under here, base of the light. There's actually a little locating uh, plastic bar that just goes under to hold that back end there. <laughs> you know what I mean, don't you? Although these press it down and hold it in place, it's actually a little locating tab. That's what I was trying to say. And I just tightened it up and forgot to put my optimizer lead in. So that's where that is. So I made it pull it through a bit so it's a bit shorter than last time. just phoned about a re-MOT test, you can't fit me in today, it was exactly a week ago, he said Thursday, <sighs> so that's it, sorted, as new exhaust, bearings done, I think it's potholes, hundreds of potholes, clanging on the back wheel, Oh yeah, it's a lot more civilised, that. Eh? <laughs> I think I prefer the loud noise, though. What are you doing? Is it really necessary? There's nothing wrong with it here. I've just started doing it. Could have done with avoiding all that crap. It probably splattered wet tar all over my uh, newly painted spring. I've painted it a lovely signal red gloss. And the last drops in my touch up pen. Mm. Yes, it's a cheap and cheerful method of resurfacing gallop tar on and put gravel down and it all gets ripped up within a month. Plus it leaves lots of loose gravel in little patches. What are you doing, Albert? What are you doing? Testing the thickness. 
just been done it's like it's full of lines I forgot to check, I was going to check my uh, tyre pressures, not done it for ages. Ruttle. <laughs> I must be in love, I feel rich, I feel poor, I feel doubtful, I feel sure. Am I in love? Oh, I must be in love. That was a Ruttles. Harry Cardle and Neil Innes taking a pinch of the Beatles. Hello, as I was in Clitheroe I thought I'd check out your boots, do you do with those cheap Chinese ones, 15 quid? No, there's a place in Blackburn, you know where the rink, ice rink is, work where and I went there and they're cheap and nasty but the most comfortable boots I've ever had and it's only a little, it's like this, it's like, it's like a long narrow shop but 15 pound, even though they've only lasted 6 months and they've got holes in, I thought well you can't argue 15 quid and my normal boots, these got margins of 14, but I got a size bigger because the steel toe caps tend to rub. And like I said, they're full of all so I thought, well, I'm in Clitheroe, I'll check here. Yeah, I so you don't do a 15. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're really crappy leather. You can tell it's Chinese. I don't know what kind of leather it is. It can't be off a cow. Yeah. But so like I said, 15 pounds. You don't want to spend lots of money just to get trodden on at work and or I actually dropped a pallet on my toe and it's ripped the leather and that's why I need a new pair yeah I'll go down okay okay see you again Oh well, no boots in a 15. We have a ball tint rod up there. I'll check my toes when I get home. Being in an industrial area, you tend to get crap all over the new roads, dropping off wagons.
good shot this. Anything you can think of is selling. Rustin, high heat black paint, heat resistant 600 degrees. Wood burning, stores and barbecues, matte finish. Excellent. £8.30. We sold bigger tins for a lot more. But that will do. Just for the... I could just paint the clamps, that's all that's necessary really. So the things that rot. And maybe that in... Marvellous, the battery just pinged out. That's the original one that came with the camera as well. I just had to put me pen tacks in from my still camera. Show on that last. I charged it up last weekend and they don't tend to keep when they're uh, back in the camera bag, but we'll see, won't we? As I was saying, if you could hear me, when there's a low battery, it starts chirping like a bloody canary. He has rusty in his high heat black paint, heat resistant 600 degree. But like I said, dolloping it on that wire connector will look horrible. <laughs> I could just dollop it on the lower part on the clamp, I think I will. Alright, put it in my pocket. I'll go down to uh, underneath the high vis, right. I'll go down to that boot place in Blackburn. I could put one there and one under my jacket. I might as well do it all today because it's forecast piddling rain for the rest of my holiday. Which means I'll be going in the rain to do my MOT. Well done holiday. Two nice days, Monday and Tuesday today and then that's it. Marvellous. What I was going to do, I'm not sure if it's uh, fitting to do it on the end of this, is go to the war memorial in my hometown. And come in here Albert. Because on Monday the 31st it'll be exactly a hundred years since my great granddad was killed at the Battle of Passchendaele. He actually survived the Somme the year before and his regiment, East Lancashire Regiment, went on to Passchendaele. And it was just a terrible slaughter in bogged down fields of mud. I watched a film all about Passchendaele and it's shown quite realistic, it's shown the hand to hand combat and the slaughter it was just appalling because um, like Tony Robinson said it wasn't for any kind of gain it was just I think it was a cynical plot by the authorities to get shut of a lot of working class men there were a lot of unemployed weavers, unemployed dockers, a few riots, and I bet you thought, let's uh, let's join in with this war, and we can have a march in towards the machine guns. And we slaughtered the buggies. Yeah, you know, don't nod then, you old fight. Yeah, march towards the machine guns, and we'll get shut of them. He's quite a way to Blackburn. We're in Clitheroe now. Sort of interesting little town. It's just antique shops still open down here. Nice yeah, collectibles bought and sold.
I think it's 10 years since I had a walk around Clitheroe when I used to work here. In fact, it's uh, 10 years next month when I got the chop. And that's Sarah Bastards. Cheap and cheerful road resurfacing marvellous. <laughs> so I'll come on alternate route to avoid all that other road works and they're doing it here as well for a longer stretch <laughs> So you've done a mile of it. Yes, Albert, I'm checking it easy. It does say 10 mile an hour. I'm doing 30. Um. Have a wall of car accessories I've filmed in here before. That's where I got them from on the front. Oh god, can you see? And there's a few scratches on my hugger, so I'll see if it's suitable to cover them up. Yes, I just bought a 4.99 Hive's. Meal is again a bit ratty because you've put them in wash to clean them off. All that silver tape breaks up so for 4 99 if it gets a notice why not see i don't care about looking like a div be seen be safe i should have done a walk around shouldn't i now i've uh, put everything back together and you see that new painted spring looks like new doesn't it stickers arrived this morning I wrote on the request, I'm sure I wrote on, please send sapphire blue. And they said black will be sent to the default if you don't ask. And I've sent black. And the girl said, uh, you mustn't have pressed send message to Sally. And I said, well, as it's my fault, I'll keep the black ones and order some more blue ones. And she said, I wish all my customers were like you. <laughs> Normally they complain. What are you doing there, Albert? I normally go out that way. There we are, work, work out the Kent Street.
15 pound, actually 14.98. We're going to stop on. Move my bungee. for my one catch it up pinging enough. I could fasten the laces around just to <laughs> just to make sure. Yeah you know, I should pay for these at work but uh they'll be umming and ahhing and dithering for weeks. I think I'll check the receipt to work and show them. Sorted. This helmet's getting very tacky, I've noticed rubber trim coming off. I was going to try and get some super glue from somewhere to mend it. I keep watching people testing them, bashing them with hammers, which is totally silly. What I should do, buy a watermelon, put that inside the helmet, then bash it and see if the watermelon is damaged. Anything bashed with a hammer. Do these people know what's actually inside them? It's just a polystyrene shape and then the shell is just a thin really out of fiberglass or a carbon fibre shell. So is the difference between a £500 helmet and a £50 helmet that much? You know, bash anything with a hammer it's going to fall apart. <laughs> 